morning. Starting out Thursday with solds, obviously, as we usually do. Surprisingly, not the mugs. The mugs holder is what we sold. Late summer, early fall, we ended up going to a free sale. Everything was free. It was like, I don't know, after a, a state sale or something. I don't really understand it, but everything that was there was free. This was on a table. It actually had a set of mugs on it. The mugs we already sold for 20 bucks. This we sold for 12. It is a vintage mug holder. $12 plus the cost of shipping over on Etsy. Next Etsy sale is a twofer. They bought two things. And I'm telling you guys, if you are not utilizing Etsy right now, you should be. I am selling most of my things on Etsy at the moment. This set sold for $40 and it is a bunch of like 1950s, 60s era aluminum wear for like a kid's set. Like there's all sorts of stuff in here. A little roaster pan with the lid. If I can get it to function properly. How cute is that? The little coffee percolator. Oh, adorbs. There's like, I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. Look at, look at these little molds. Oh my gosh. I can't believe these didn't sell faster. I purchased them for $4 from a thrift store. And just now, oh, here's another little mold. Oh, oh my god, they're so cute. Um, sold them on Etsy for $40. All these. And then the person also bought the hand crank egg beater for $12. Um, this was not a huge money maker. I bought it from a thrift store for like five. Sold it on Etsy for twelve. So these are getting boxed together and going to the same person. And for our next Etsy sale, yeah, we sold the Chili Willy. Uh, picked this up up off Facebook Marketplace for twenty bucks and probably spent at least ten fifteen into gas money to go pick it up because it was like an hour away. Uh, but still, sold it for $80 on Etsy, plus the cost of shipping. And believe it or not, this is being shipped to the UK. I'm a little sketched about shipping. They charged $80. So hopefully that's pretty accurate, because I'm not really in a position to eat a bunch of money on this piece. Probably a good idea that I remember to remove the light bulb. Oh, geez, and before I forget, I gotta stick this out on the porch for a porch pickup. Yes, seen us pick it up the other day for $12, and it is pending pickup Facebook Marketplace for $45. Next is this cute, creepy little guy right here. He is cute and creepy all at the same time. He is a little Inesco Japan nightlight. He does have his original sticker. We got him for $3 at the flea market and I did video that day and then I accidentally deleted the entire video so I have no proof that that is where I purchased this from but I did three dollars and sold it for 22 and our last sold are these little guys oh my gosh I just knocked over that beer mirror that I bought yesterday can't be breaking that these little guys came out of one of the bins in the basement at the farmhouse. So I'm not specifically sure where they came from. Most of the Christmas stuff. I'm not exactly sure where it came from. Uh, but I sold them for $6 plus the cost of shipping. Ready to get them out of here. I have not gotten much accomplished with listing, but we did set up another porch pickup from Marketplace. Cool. Wasn't hard to find this piece. This I bought a long time ago. I believe at an estate auction. I bought like a pile of these things. I think I paid five bucks for it, right around there. And it is currently pending pickup for 35. I did keep it for a long time and use it. And now it's just being downsized. So $35 porch pickup. Well, that didn't take long. Plainstein got picked up. The guy messaged me and said, I only have $33. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> 33 bucks. Not too bad. It's the next day. We did sell the gumball machine. Friday is a thrift day for us, so I'm probably not going to get all of our solds done, but a few of them need to get boxed. All right, I got to find the boots that sold. The list says that they're in here. 
brand new kids boots baffin polar proven i believe i bought these at salvation army they've never been worn i don't remember exactly what i paid for them but I also believe I bought them off season and it wasn't a whole heck of a lot. I originally had them listed for 80 and then I've slowly been dropping the price to 60, ended up taking a $50 offer. So these sold for 50 bucks and they have been listed for probably a year, but I think I still profited. So there's that. We're just downstairs looking for a donor box because the next thing is very fragile. This pretty piece picked this piece of stained glass up from Salvation Army. I think I paid like $6 for it. Sold it for 45 bucks plus the cost of shipping. Oh, I do love me some stained glass. <laughs> I'm just, I love it. Next is the Brass Bird. I just bought the Brass Bird from Salvation Army, like just a couple of days ago. Six bucks, sold it for 25. Next is this thing. I've had this thing sitting around for a long time. It is a vintage, it's a little dusty, vintage men's like toiletries bag. I'm gonna have a hard time doing this one handed. Anyway, you get the point. <laughs> I don't know where I got it. I didn't specifically buy it. Probably came in auction lot stuff and it just kind of got sat around forever. Sold it for a whopping $10 plus the cost of shipping. Okay. Oh, I might need Richard's assistance. Babe! Babe! Babe, I need your tallness. What do you need? He thinks I'm like yelling at this Rich. This one? Yes, that one. The tool belt thing. Mm -hmm. How is this not sold yet? The Dysfunctional Family Christmas <laughs> Book. It's, it's lovely. This is not worth picking up. It's been listed for probably two years, and I don't understand why. Again, a theme lately. Because it's in good shape. It's a vintage tool belt. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in really good condition. Buckle is in really good shape. I just, I don't freaking understand it. I did pick it up from a thrift store. I think I paid $4 for it. Oh, I mean, I did sell it for $25. So I might have actually made a profit. Possibly. Or it came pretty close to breaking even. One of the two. Uh, you can't win them all. But this is the next thing we sold on eBay that's going out. Well, we might as well get the biggest pain in the butt shipping thing out of the way. And just then I don't have to worry about it, right? Have I mentioned I freaking hate boxing stuff? This is an entire Lennox set. As you can kind of see because it doesn't want to focus. Focus! Yeah, well, whatever. <sighs> you get the point. Uh, we picked this up at Salvation Army and paid 8 bucks for it, I believe. Sold the set on Etsy for $60 plus the cost of shipping. $60. These are really cute too and there was no damage or anything. $60. That's a good flip. Yeah, the rest of the solds are gonna have to wait. And that is a giant tree and I see blow molds. Snowman is 30, which is a little out of my price range, unfortunately. Well, that looks awfully familiar. We have a very similar piece at home already. so freaking cool. It's super damaged. <laughs> oh, it's so bummed. It's got like a giant crack in it right here. Bummer. I think it's not going to soil. I found not a one thing today. Super field tape. Just leave that right there. I wish this was bigger. It's only for like a twin size. You're really gonna dig through all that trying to find a remote? Um, yeah, it would say Ankyo on it. So, if it doesn't say Ankyo, it's not the remote. Hmm, how do I feel about this guy? He is a vintage golf club cover. 
Christmas stuff starting to run a little thin. Oh, it's taped. I can't look and see if it's damaged. Oh, isn't that stinking cute? $52. Oh, it's so cute. Makes me miss when Keegan was little. Salvation Army, officially our last stop of today. What in the heck is this? Oh, man. <laughs> what the heck? He's not wearing a mask, though. He is not wearing a mask. Stay, because you're staying here. Why have I been attracted to stuff like this lately? Is it a sewing basket? Six bucks. I feel like if it was like a little bit cheaper, I would probably get it. I don't know. I'll look it up, I guess. Well, comps aren't like a bazillion dollars, but I think I might get it anyway. Like 20, 25 ish. And then I just seen these up here. Dance. Like no one is watching. Love like you've never been hurt. Seeing like no one is listening. These are cute. Oh, he is adorable. And he's a pointer basket. Oh, but he does have some damage. Right here, that. Oh my gosh. Babe. Two for $3.99, they're cast iron. I don't know if they're bookends or doorstops or what. Aren't you just adorable? And you are marked something that I can't read. Read that. Oh, I was going for those next. Oh, I love it. 22 karat gold. For five bucks. Fortunately, that one's got a giant crack in it. Oh, and of course he finds chips on it. Well, it's a very, very, very sad picking. This is it. <laughs> we got the bookends. We paid, I think, $4 for the pair. Two for $3.99. Yep, they're cast iron. We got the vintage lion uh, golf club cover. I couldn't find this exact one, but it didn't look super hard. I paid 8 bucks for it. Uh, these golf club covers that are like f animals can actually go for quite a bit of money. So hopefully I did well on that. And the duck. I really liked this piece a lot. It's a basket. It has definitely some character writing on it. And there's no damage. I just thought it was awesome. I paid six bucks for it. I'm going to ask probably around 25 And that's it. <laughs> that's all we got today. So now back to what we sold. This guy. Gotta grab this guy. He is vintage 1996 International Services Resources Services Inc. or something like that. A Welsh Christmas figurine. Check it out! We got our first Christmas card! Totally unrelated to what I'm doing. I sold him for $8 on Etsy. And I'm not sure where he came from. Auction stuff, I'm sure. That's where most of the stuff came from, is like dollar auction lots from Christmas in July. Oh, this is next one's an easy boxer. I just have to find it. Mm. Aha. I sold one of these. Vintage kids fork and spoon set. I picked those. I picked two of them up. 50 cents a piece from an estate sale, and I'm thinking back, like, why didn't I just grab them all? I don't understand that. It's, like, a super easy quantity listing. Sold that for 10 bucks. Like, easy 10 bucks, super easy shipping. I have no idea why I didn't grab them all. Okay, we've got this art glass hand-blown ornament. Sold that for 10. Not funny. And then we gotta get this vanity tray that's down here. Paid $5 for the box lot that this came out of. So 
again, I'm inching my way towards that $110 that I spent there, so I don't have to feel bad for keeping a bunch of crap. And last but not least, we have the vanity tray that we purchased from a thrift store a couple weeks ago. I think I paid five bucks for it. Sold it on Etsy. Yes, yeah, sold it on Etsy for 20 bucks plus the cost of shipping. So there's that. Yeah, well, it's right next to the post office and picking wasn't swell today. So we're gonna try again. Unfortunately, we're not really doing swell here either. Yep, that's what we found. I almost didn't sign off the vlog. I just got done listing and putting stuff away. That's listed, that's listed, that's listed. All this stuff is listed. The fish are listed. That is also listed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.